Hello everybody, it is Adam from SoGo Survey, and today we are here to talk about how to run your calendar before it runs you. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. While a calendar can help keep you on track, it's sometimes tricky to escape. Revisit recurring meetings. Recurring meetings sometimes make sense, but they sometimes keep recurring way longer than they should. Ask a few key questions to evaluate meetings, especially recurring ones. What's the actual purpose of this meeting? Are the right people included on the invitation? Is this meeting scheduled at the right frequency or interval? Does the scheduled amount of time make sense for the purpose? And does this day or time work for those involved? More purposeful meetings. If you don't know why you're meeting, take it off the calendar. Everyone involved should be clear on the goal or goals of your meeting. Use a common reference to keep track of the agenda, discussion items, and next steps. No matter the form, a notes document, a Trello board, etc., use this reference between meetings too to note progress. Inviting success. For your meetings to be successful, who needs to be present? Consider decision makers as well as those who will complete follow-up actions. Streamline the guest list and keep it current. Ensure correct email addresses, links, and agenda items are included. Pace yourself. Is there sufficient time between meetings to make any real progress? More meetings can sometimes mean less actual doing. Set realistic intervals to meet and make decisions or discuss strategy. Use project management software or other tools to communicate real-time step-by-step progress. Use just enough time. Not every meeting should be scheduled for an hour. Use speedy meetings and other settings to nudge focus and allow between meeting breathing room. If you're done early, let participants go early. If you regularly run over scheduled time, revisit your goals and your time frame. Timing is everything. Respect participants' time by following these best practices and by balancing their scheduling needs. Be aware of these scheduling cycles and preferences of participants and avoid planning meetings for slots when they're especially busy or simply unavailable. Make meetings matter. If you're going to ask others to set aside time to meet with you, be sure you're all on the same page. Purpose, participants, and timing. Communicate calendar etiquette and refresh processes regularly. Proactively schedule work time or blocks to ensure you have time to get things done and respect others' blocks too. Meet your goals with meeting goals. If you want to learn more about how to run your calendar before it runs you, we have a blog about it on our website. Also, please follow us at SoGo Survey on our various social media platforms down below. You can reach us at 1-800-646-0520 or email us at support1 at sogosurvey.com. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please like and share this video. And from everyone here at SoGo Survey, we hope you have a happy new year.